Here we're going to look at solving an equation that has a natural log in it. So notice this is 4 times the natural log. Now if we're thinking properties, we could bring that in as x minus 7 to the 4th. But since it's multiplied and we have an equation, what might be easier is just divide both sides by 4. So now we have natural log of x minus 7 equals 2. Alright, so if anything's trapped in the log, I can rewrite it as an exponential function. I'll think, what's the base? Natural log is base e, so e is the base. Then the only other part I try to remember is the exponent, the answer from a logarithm is the exponent, so that means 2 is my exponent, and that's equal to whatever was inside the logarithm then, or whatever's left. So e squared equals x minus 7, so add 7 to both sides. So e squared plus 7 equals x. Now if they wanted an exact answer, which sometimes they will, stop here. Kind of just like square roots that don't work out or pi. As soon as you put e into your calculator, it's a rounded. It can be really close. We can round to a lot of decimal places, but it's still a rounded answer. But here they say round to the nearest hundredths, so they're okay with go to your calculator and see what e squared plus 7 actually is. And that gives us 1 point, or sorry, 14 point. 3, 9 when we round to the nearest hundredth.